Welcome to Man of the Match, the show where we reward outstanding players showing extraordinary skills. This week we kick off with a game uh, CH versus CR at the Racecourse Grounds. In this game I'm giving one point to Sajid Saranga for the outstanding display showed in the forwards. He did a lot of hard work um, defensively and, and on attack as well. But the two men that are going to be fighting out for a second for the two and three points are uh, Lee Kegel and Samuel Matawangta. Now both of those players had, had extraordinary games. Lee scored a try from halfway where he beat uh, maybe three players, scooted around the outside, showed great class and great poise to score that try. But Samuel, he came into the game, um, he controlled the match really well from 10. He did a lot of, his kicking from defensively was excellent, but he also saw space that was available on the other side as well, and he set up the, try for the, the second try for Lee Kegel as well. So for me, it was a real toss up. I thought Lee was right in saying that uh, Samuel should deserve three points, but I'm gonna go with uh, Lee Kegel getting three points for man of the match, and Samuel Madawantha getting two points for man of the match. For the next game we head to Willisera where Navy took on Havies and it looked like it was going to be the game of the round. Um, in the first 10 minutes, Navy really came out and showed defensively what they can do. And the Havies, although they were, they were up for the game and they scored a try in the first couple of minutes, um, I'm going to give the uh, one point to uh, Falil, uh, the centre for Navy. He just created a um, defensive wall that Navy weren't able to get through. And in the second half, um, Navy kept on kicking the ball back to the likes of um, Lee Dix um, Kevin Dixon and uh, um, Reza Mubarak. And they kept on bringing the ball back with a lot of venom, but because of his defensive wall there, they weren't able to penetrate. So he gets one point. Lahiru Wishwajit, he receives two points, and his defensive display was superb. His um, tackle technique is right on on uh, point. So the point of contact where he hits his shoulder to the opposition is just above the knee. He was cleaning people up all over the park and when he when he hit them they stayed hit and that really just led the defence. There were other defensive leaders there as well and um, I think that really set the platform for Navy to get over Havies. The player of the match, the one that receives three points from us is Sapon Pettis. So not only was he everywhere in defence, in attack, he was also a supporting player. If he wasn't able to get the ball in his hands, he was there to clean out as well. But he just led everything, he has such high energy and creates something for all the players around him whenever he's near the ball. So he receives three points from us. For the third game, we head to Rat Milana for a close, closely fought contest between Air Force and Police. Edom Algoda receives one point from us. His control of the match from 10 for Air Force was excellent. Although he does point his hips towards the sideline and, and looks like he's going sideways, he did distribute the ball well and kept his forwards in front of the play. Um, his kicking was was so so. So he, he was kicking into space. He probably wasn't kicking as long enough, but those are areas that he needs to improve on. Um, Rumesh Ramadas, he receives two points from us. He played fullback for Air Force and he brought the back ball back with real venom every time he received it. He's elusive and quick. I'd like to see what he's going to do for the rest of the season. Our man of the match, our player that receives three points, is Saranka Werala. He was the number eight for Air Force, and every time he received the ball, he went forward. He's so good into contact, um, and he picks up the ball off the back of the scrum, he goes over the advantage line, and he sets a real platform where his backs can take, take advantage of, and, they, and they, they make some great yards after he has the ball. So he receives our three points from out of the match. Our final game was where uh, Army went to Fortress Candy at Nitawella. Now that's a really difficult place to go and um, it showed in the scoreline. For us, Danushka Ranjan, he receives one point. He had a barnstorming match when he had ball in hand, but I'd, I'd like, what I'd like to see from him is see some distribution skills. I'd like to see him being a centre who can set up his wings. A couple of times he made a few breaks and he could have made a pass, he didn't, he held on to the ball. We know how dangerous he is with hand, ball in hand. I want to see how dangerous he is when he starts spreading the ball out wide as well. Two players goes to Willie, Will Wetter, the winger. He had another great game. He runs so much like uh, the All Black um, uh, Naholo. Very strong, very upright. 
Very difficult to take down. He scored three tries in this game, so he was superb. The man of the match, though, is the one that took it up in the middle. He receives the three points. Udangamoa. So at, from number eight, he was picking up the ball at the back of the candy scrum and going over the advantage line. Every time he took the ball in, he'd go over the advantage line again. So what that does is that sets up the back line to be, out, be on the front foot. Uh, Fazal also takes the ball to the, to the line as well, and he just sets his foot players on the outside. That's why the, the 13, the, the outside backs, they look so good for Candy because these boys are putting in so much hard work in the middle of the, in the, middle of the park. So thanks for joining us for round three of Man of the Match. As usual, you can comment on the, on the notes below. I'll see you next time. From the team, I'm Paul Toyer, the man of the match.